from the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. About 7 o'clock on this Saturday, September 16th. Good morning, I'm Devin Feely. And I'm Betty Yu. New this morning, California lawmakers have passed a Senate bill that would turn the state into a sanctuary. The bill would prohibit law enforcement officials from asking about a person's immigration status and from taking part in immigration enforcement efforts. The bill will now be considered by Governor Brown, who has already announced his support. Meantime, a federal judge has blocked Attorney General Jeff Sessions from following through on his threat to withhold public safety grant money from sanctuary cities like San Francisco. The temporary nationwide injunction means, for now at least, the Justice Department can't deny requests from cities that refuse to comply with its demands, like allowing immigration agents access to local jails and notifying agents when someone in the U.S. illegally is about to be released. We know this this morning. A young immigrant accused of using a stolen gun to kill a man in San Francisco was let out of jail earlier this month, even though ICE was after him. This is where police say 18-year-old Eric Garcia Pineda and two other suspects killed a man walking home from work last month. It happened in the mission. The murder weapon was stolen from a police officer's personal car. ICE says earlier this month, sheriff's deputies let Pineda out of jail in a separate case, even though ICE wanted him held for possible deportation. ICE says in a statement, local authorities released him back into the community without providing any notification to ICE, resulting in another arrest that could have been prevented through cooperation with ICE. ICE also says that in May it tried to block the release of a second suspect in the deadly shooting. We're following a developing story out of St. Louis where protests have turned violent. This after a not guilty verdict for a white police officer charged in the shooting death of a black man. You can see activists burning American flags as the crowd cheers. Protesters have also targeted the mayor's home, breaking windows and splashing red paint on her house. Police responded with tear gas to disperse the crowd. Jason Stockley shot Anthony Smith following a high-speed chase in 2011. Stockley shot Smith five times, saying he saw him holding a gun. Prosecutors claim the officer planted the gun after the shooting. This morning, at least two police officers are in the hospital recovering after protesters threw bricks at them. This morning, a warning is going out on the peninsula. A mountain lion was spotted strolling through a quiet neighborhood in Los Altos. Take a look. A resident in the Kring Way neighborhood released this home security video. It shows the animal prowling around the property Thursday night. It is the second mountain lion spotted in the area in the past week. Neighbors say mountain lions have been around there for years. State lawmakers have voted to move the 2020 presidential primary to March, all in an effort to give the state more influence in choosing nominees. Last year's primary fell in June after Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton were already the presumptive nominees. The new bill will now go on to Governor Brown for consideration. And in California, California could become the first state to require presidential candidates to release their tax returns to appear on the state ballot. Lawmakers sent Governor Brown a bill requiring candidates to publicly share five years of returns. President Donald Trump's refusal to release his tax returns sparked similar legislation in dozens of states from New Jersey to Hawaii. Chefs across California are rethinking their menus. A federal appeals court has upheld a state ban banning the sale of foie gras. The pricey delicacy is made by force feeding ducks and geese. The state legislature passed the ban in 2004 calling the process cruel and inhumane. Foie gras producers sued and a district judge ruled the ban interfered with federal law. But the Ninth Circuit Court said California is free to enforce it. Producers plan to appeal. News around the Bay. Police in Moraga are on the lookout for a fake nurse. She's accused of posing as a health care worker and ripping off elderly residents at an assisted living center. Police say Antoinette Bryant and Sean Morris were caught on camera cashing stolen checks and using stolen debit and credit cards. Morris has been arrested. Bryant is still on the run this morning. And this morning, the state says the water in Alameda Point is safe to drink again. The latest round of testing came back clear of bacteria. East Bay Mud says customers should still run all their taps for 10 minutes to flush them out. Officials in Contra Costa County are on high alert for the West Nile virus. Birds found in Brentwood, Antioch, Pleasant Hill have all tested positive for the virus, while a group of mosquitoes in Oakley were also found to have it as well. Experts are warning residents to drain standing water, use bug repellent, and avoid being outdoors where mosquitoes are present to protect themselves from the virus. 
Sky Drone 5 over the old radar station on top of Mount Amunam. The old military relic in the Santa Cruz Mountains has been closed for decades, but that's all about to change starting this week. Its bird eye views are about to be open to the public. It gives you a breathtaking view, and anyone who's ever wondered what does Silicon Valley really look like, this is the place you can see it from. Baseball up top, and why not? We got to start you off in Cleveland. Boy, what a show last night. Hey, regular season's best story. Fans jumped on board last night. The AL record win streak at 22, down a run to the Royals, and it ended in the ninth as soon as Francisco Lindor swung at strike three. What a roll. 22 in a row. The Royals won it last night, 4-3. to three. It had been hot in Cleveland. Hey, the Diamondbacks, they sent Robbie Ray on the Giants, and he had his stuff. Seven innings, struck out 10 giant batters. Uh, the D-back batters, they got to Jeff Samarja in the seventh. Down run, A.J. Pollock got through, and the runners were going. Diamondbacks came back and won this one by a final of 3-2. to two. A's Bob Melvin didn't have to wait long for Magic in Philadelphia last night. Top four, already up 2 nothing. Matt Joyce crushed it. And I know Philly's one of the smaller ballparks, but, man, that's impressive. A two-run shot here. That was enough for the mustached pitcher Daniel Mengden. Pitched the A's first complete game shutout of the season. Seven strikeouts. A's won last night, final of four to nothing. And this one was pretty cool in the Lynx yesterday in Chicago. Jason Day, par 3 17th BMW Championship. 188 yards, folks. And the world's number nine player on target with the ace. The hole in one helped him gain a share of second place after a couple of rounds. Round three is later on today. He trails by some three shots behind Mark. Leishman. Come on back later on in the day. We will tell you about Cal, Mississippi. We'll tell you about Stanford and San Diego State and set the table for NFL Sunday. 49ers and the race.